Hey viewers, welcome to my channel Hot Topics TV News. Please remember to like, comment, share, and turn on post notification bell. Please subscribe. I wanted to talk about this news. Taximan turns local hero. It's definitely an act of bravery. Risky rescue of 10 year old boy earns St. Catherine Man Medal of Honor of Gallantry. And it stated Jeffrey Boyen, who braved crocodile infested sewage water on the on the night of July 31st, 2020, to rescue a drowning young boy, said he would not have been able to live with himself if he had turned a blind eye to the boy's plight, and he ended up dying. The St. Catherine taxi driver, who is very elated about being recognized nationally, Today, for his bravery, is among nine persons who will be bestowed with the Medal of Honor of Gallantry during the annual National Honors and Awards Ceremony at King's House. The autistic boy, who is also hearing impaired, was spotted moving about in the murky and dangerous waters in the canal in Bridgeport, Portmore, St. Catherine, sometime at 7.20 before he was being seen fighting to stay afloat. Boyen, on seeing that the child was in difficulty, did not hesitate and quickly sprang into action. The boy, believed to be about 10, had wandered off from a nearby dear care center. Recalling the incident, the father of two said he had gone to the area to drop off someone and was heading home when a friend stopped him and told him that somebody was spotted in the water. So when my friend tell me say somebody was in the water, I'm like, is it a body? Him say, no, the person moving. So this catch my attention, he recalled saying. Boyne said he went to take a closer look for himself and did not see the person at first but heard movements initially. He said he thought it was a drug addict. However, on realizing that it was a child, Bowen said he started to call out to him, but the child wasn't answering. Although he looked at him with two piercing eyes, May I call him like my son? May I say, Papa? But him just looked for me and just continued. So me no say something wasn't right with him. And I could see that he was cold. And he was trembling, he said. Bowen said the child continued moving towards the bridge and his concern intensified because he knows that crocodiles are normally under the bridge. Me rushed back to the bridge trying to get a hold of him before him go under the bridge. By me run to the bridge, him already duck under the bridge. So me run to the other side, he said, noting that persons had started gathering and was trying to videotape what was happening. Boyne said he called out to the boy and shortly after he was sighted on the other side but quickly disappeared under the water. People start say, are the crocodile hold him? Some people start ball say, somebody go help him now. And some say, me can't swim. And some say, sewage water and crocodile in the water he recounted. By then, Boyne said two police officers from a nearby police station had shown up, but when persons cried out to them, their response was they had already called the emergency vehicle. But Boyne said given that there was no time, he figured the only thing that the vehicle would be coming to do would be to retrieve the child's body. I don't know if him did a drown or if the crocodile did hold him. But me just see him hand him, like him try hold on and, and I try to come on top. And then I remembered like him come up and him turn him face to where we were at. And me see him give me the same look. It was the same look him give me when he was passing down the stream. So me know say really and truly him was some 
him want somebody to help him. That's when me say to myself, me now make you dead today. Because me have a son about the same age. And me would want somebody to help him. Boy and said. The taxi man said he jumped into the water with even his day pay still in his pocket and took out the child. He wasn't really worried about the water. Even though it was sewage water, my focus wasn't on the, on the stench. I went in there knowing that the crocodiles were in the water. My focus was on trying to help the boy. I know that anything could have happened. Things come across my mind. Maybe... You, you know, go back home to your son. You could go in there and the crocodile hold you instead of the boy. But once I made up my mind, there was no turning back. Because it's really hard to see somebody in need of help and just turn away, he said. People, this man really deserved that award. Let's applaud him. Please subscribe, share, and like. Thank you.